Hey guys, Eddie Clash here, back with a video response to one of my most frequently asked questions on YouTube, and that is how I record my iPad screen. So today I'm going to show you how to use the recorder that I use and where to get it from because it's not on the App Store, unfortunately. So let's let's open it up. It's right here to the left, as you can see, and there we have it. So as you can see, right now I'm recording. It's really simple to use. There's two buttons. Obviously, you tap record. It starts recording. When you're once you're done recording, you tap stop, and it automatically saves it in here. Where, if you want to, you can uh, save it to your camera roll or mail it to yourself, and from there you can upload it to YouTube if you want to. Now, let me show you where to get it from. One sec. Okay, so this is the site right here. I'm going to put a link in the description below so you guys can get it. And basically all you do is tap on this link on the site. It takes you, re redirects you to a new page of downloads. And you scroll down all the way to, let's see, record my screen right here. This is the app I use to record my screen, guys. It's really, it's an iOS screen recorder. It works perfect on, on your iPhone and your iPad. It gets the job done, you know. It also records audio, so you don't have to voice over anything. So it's really, it's really helpful. All you have to do is tap install. It's going to ask you, do you want to install? You tap yes. And basically, it's going to take, it's going to take like a couple of seconds to install onto your, uh, to install the app. And once, once it's installed, all you got to do is open it. It's going to ask you if you want to open it. You tap yes. And you're good to go. So first things first, you got to take a look at your settings and a few things to remember. Now, once when I first got this app and I first opened it, the record audio tab over here under audio settings, it was off. So make sure that if you want audio to be recorded, and you want to commentate, let's say, for YouTube videos like I'm doing, make sure you slide that to on so it works. And actually, a few things to keep in mind. Also, with the video orientation, um, sometimes what happens is the video comes out either sideways or upside down. So what you want to do is play around uh, with the video orientation, see which is best for... Uh, whatever you're doing, let's say uh, you're vertically filming it or horizontally like I'm doing right now, you need to uh, just test it out to your needs. So, okay, if you're an, on an iPad, if it doesn't record your screen and it just, just comes out black, like the first time I tried it out, all you gotta do is change your video size over here to half instead of native. Make sure it's selected on half if you have that problem. And... That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, again, make sure you pr pr play around with the uh, video orientation because it kind of gets messy if, you know, you don't use it the way it's supposed to be used. I'm actually, right now, I'm on landscape. I'm filming it horizontally, so it should be landscape, but it's weird. It kind of, sh it's supposed to be set on portrait, I guess, when you're doing it like that. It's kind of the opposite, but, you know, it works. If... If by chance, you know, it does come out sideways, don't worry. You can, um, actually, if you're uploading it to YouTube, if you go under uh, Edit Video, you go, you tap Enhancements, and it actually gives you the handy tool where you can actually rotate your video. So there's these arrows. You tap them to the correct orientation until it, the video rotates, and you're good to go. You upload it, and you save your changes. So... This is it guys, this is how I record my screen, and that's all there is to it. Stay tuned for the for the base reviews guys, that's coming up right next after I upload this video. See ya guys, thanks for watching.